don't take too kindly to my hero academia fans around here. Japan time starts. What's going on, everybody? Rogers what base fuck? here. What are you Japan doing? Stop, stop. You this is what? It's all for you Canada. You it's all for, for Canada. Oh now you sit down. You, you sit you down right now. You left your people. You were late, bro. What? 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 Yeah, you were late here. Now first, now, first of all, Fidel, you goddamn bastard. If he's not uh -huh. here, then I'm the host. What the fuck? I was going to say, it's certainly <laughs> not you. What I'm just saying, you the default. What the fuck is this? Okay, well, how many? Okay, so how many people does it have to go down before we get to Fidel doing the intro? No, Fidel, like, so, Fidel's so, like third or fourth. Okay, I think Virum. I think Virum would be third. Virum would be third. It would be okay. me, and then Shofu, and then Virum, and then Fidel. That's fine. Yeah, that works. Yeah, there's no way he said everybody. Welcome, welcome to the show. We got a jam-packed episode today. I'm looking to get educated because I truly do not understand what's going on with this Drake and Kendrick uh -oh. beef. I want to know. Uh, we so got to talk know what's about going the on with Kendrick's show? beef. Hey, yo. Wait, what? Hey, hey, yo. yo. Well, for those, oh, of you who, uh, for those of you who just heard the man saying, hey, yo, of course, that's my co-host every single week. Shofu, what is going on, Shofu? How are you feeling today? Yeah, mate. That's all right. Very succinct. Uh, someone else who I know is saying that because of an email he just got, apparently, is Fidel. What's going on, Fidel? <laughs> All right. We're going down a trend to people doing weird uh, weird laughs. What's up, Tito? I didn't I didn't do a weird laugh. Are you going to do a weird laugh, though? No. Because we had two weird laughs. You're not going to do it. You're no, not going to play along with it. But this is why the audience it. doesn't like you, Tito. McGareth, no, what's the weird laugh of the week? They what's can't the do it. Laugh? I'm on the show. They're not. No. Well, not for uh, long. I, I'm really, I'm really built for this, man. <laughs> I You're really, not really built, built for this. You can't do a laugh. No. You can't do an evil laugh. Not, not on command out of nowhere. No. Built for this. Hey, everyone. Coast, please tell me you can do an evil laugh, Coast. Please. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's better than nothing. That's good. Happy you're here, Coast. And of course, as always, we're very happy that Viram is here as well. How are you, Viram? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's like much. only only Fidel did the evil laugh. With he wanted everybody laugh. else to do the evil laugh, but only Fidel did it. What are you talking no. about? I did it. I did it. No, no, no. I'm in, it, I'm in at the beginning. Virum I'm in at the it. beginning. The only two that didn't were McDareth and Tito. They were the only two. Yeah, I'm not Bill. It's all yeah, well, McDareth oh, got, got, doesn't have it in him to do an evil laugh. And I. Oh, prove it. Go ahead, McDareth. Go ahead. Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> no I don't, I don't have, I have to yeah, I told you. 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 I didn't want it to be true, but it is true. We've done this on the show so many times at this point. He folded, man. Yeah, no, he just doesn't. It, he just doesn't have it in him. All right, you know what? I I am ready for though. I want to start with this because I have not seen it. I do not care about spoilers, and we have Fidel and McDareth and Viram here. So I want to know. Tell me about the Knuckles show. What did you guys think of the Knuckles show? Little three uh, three way spoiler cast, mini spoiler cast of the Knuckles show, right here. Let's That's hear. Only going to be two since I haven't watched it myself. Oh, so two. Okay, so there you go. So two. What are the two you think of the Knuckles show so far? Um, I. I go first. Go first, Fidel. Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, the show was good when it was a Knuckles show. So the first two episodes where it's about Knuckles and Wade, it's a good Knuckles show. And then episode three through. Most of six, they don't have the budget to have Knuckles in it, and so it does not become a Knuckles show anymore. 
and therefore it does not become good. So, yeah, that's my review. It's not a good show. It's not a good Knuckles show. Is it a good comedy show? Sure. Is it a good Knuckles show? I wouldn't say that. They didn't fuck yeah. up Knuckles. They kept him perfect. His personality is perfect. But again, he's just not there. Yeah, that's basically where I am. I thought it was... They had some funny points. I thought the mm-hmm. uh, the little skit they do and the reference they dig up out of nowhere for that was kind of funny. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. So I, so I thought that part... Like, they had some funny moments, but yeah, it's like not really about Sonic characters that much. Yeah. I, mean, I think... Like, I don't even mind Wade and the way he's portrayed. I think the actor was fine. I think the way they played yeah. it, everything with him was fine. But it's just like they picked the comic relief character who you barely saw in any of the movies. Exactly. To be the focus I, is kind of an odd choice. I've said this, man. I always say this, man. Like, the comedic relief character, when they get their own show or spin out, I'm like, it doesn't work. The reason the comedic relief character works is because they're comedic relief. They help alleviate like a moment make a moment funny make a moment silly but as soon as you make the entire show about that character the stupid feels like it's just the entire yeah, way it's through. like over the top yeah. yeah exactly and you're just like all right man like this is too much is it still uh idris alba yes on knuckles yes it's they have all, the, all the yeah. voice actors are still there and like i said it's like when the I was like my fear when it started getting bad. I was like, "Oh God, just please, just don't ruin Knuckles because he's so good in the live action interpretation." Thankfully, any scene with Knuckles, he's fantastic. He's always the show stealer. He's like the best part. I would hope so. But yeah, all the human stuff they went with, I just don't know. It it felt like a show where they just it could have been a three episode series. I'm really convinced this show could have been episode one, two, and the last one. You know, it could have been. They do their journey. They go right away to the bowling tournament, and then that happens yeah, at the end. I really, yeah. yeah. It should have just been a mini movie, a mini special. Did not need to be six episodes. And we talk about this on the show in general about these streaming services and just their problem with just they have to do these six to eight episodes. And so because they have to do that, fill that quota, you just get a bunch of unnecessary filler when I would just rather, hey, man, we're going to drop a 45-minute special. We're going to drop a one-hour special. It's focused. It's fire. But they just they seem to just always want to do these long shows and just have filler and waste time. And then a quick uh, question I have, just as somebody who is completely removed from the show, doesn't know anything about it, the, the term bowling tournament stood out to me. What is that? Yeah, that's uh, the bowling premise. tournament. So uh, for uh, – wow, I'm trying to do for Wade. <laughs> His whole uh, – his whole thing is like Knuckles is like trying to train him to fight in combat, and his combat is a bowling tournament, basically. So that's like the gist of it. So he's like learning a Sonic kind of thing of like the strength comes from within for the sake of a bowling tournament. Without saying more than, than what's going on there, but yeah, yeah, yeah it's just it's just kind of uh definitely misses the mark because I mean everyone. With the Sonic stuff really likes what they do with the Sonic characters when they're characterizing them or showing them interact. So like episode one is some good moments because they're mm-hmm. all there. But then as you yeah. keep going, you get less and less of that. Exactly. It just yeah, and yeah, it sparked a whole debate about like humans and Sonic and everything. It just yeah, I think humans humans can exist in Sonic. I just think they should always exist as supporting characters and not yeah the main character. Mm-hmm. I think that's it's just really weird it. after like the feedback from movie one. And the whole mm-hmm. wedding scene movie, too, which everyone complained about. It's just weird that this show also just took that angle. Yeah. They got to stop, man. I'm like, I feel like with movie three, I'm the least, I'm less worried because the the reason why episode one and two here are good is because it's the movie writers, whereas the other episodes aren't. Um, and so clearly those guys know how to handle the dynamic. And I think movie three from like the previews and stuff, we know, I think it's going to be more focused on these characters. But yeah. At they the same time, though, movie movies. three, like if it's based on Sonic Adventure two, seems like it would have quite a few human characters. Oh yeah, yeah, you have, like, yeah exactly. Well, Grandpa Robotnik, Maria. Yeah, but that's like a flashback. I guess that's true. But even then, yeah. like if it's based on Sonic Adventure two, we're gonna get even more Sonic characters because more than likely, you're Rouge and Amy. Because there's still you really think they're gonna have Rouge and Amy? 
I think I think so because they're talking about they want Sonic wasn't Amy it wasn't Amy teased in the Knuckle Show? That's one of the only things I've seen is like no, that screenshot no, she's of not the Shadow no, she's is not. teased in the Knuckle Show. Oh, okay. Uh, but that's really yeah. They're, I mean, it's not a spoiler. They don't really do any post-credit scene tease or anything. Like they loosely yeah. just say, "Oh, 50 years ago, something happened." Yeah. So they basically said the old gun. Yeah, yeah, sure. But yeah, I I do like that they're expanding. You know that um, the lore of gun and having like people that have been like kicked out of gun and like how they they just have like their quills and abilities are being able to be used by others i like that they're setting up that their powers are kind of messing up earth in a in a way which sets up gun going after sonic oh, and friends yeah sure sure yeah, so, yeah. like I, the world building parts of it is fine it's just you know the whole premise of it if the whole thing was just establishing more stuff in the world it'd be cool but they kind of they're not doing that so but, like, yeah you're getting a little bit of that every now and then but a lot of it is kind of just comedy mm -hmm. with a character that kind of doesn't carry i mean the actor i think the actor's doing a good job i don't think there's anything wrong with him his sister's annoying yeah, no. <laughs> but like his sister's awful his sister's the one of the worst things they've ever done yeah and like if that was played off as like a little subplot thing that happened occasionally it would be fine but like when it's all the time the back and forth yeah. and it's like okay this is getting they also like, casually it's, make it's a, a show for kids the aggressive they also for kids casually make a holocaust joke mid episode of a knuckle what? yeah yeah, yeah. And i was uh, like my eyes were like what? on the oh, knuckles I, the, the second is, okay so God. this is a <laughs> this is not a big spoiler but we got a third episode yeah this. yeah so like wade has to go back to his mom's house his family is jewish so okay. his mom is talking to Knuckles, <laughs> and Wade's just like joking, like, "Oh yeah, he's he's half Jewish, I think." On his mother's side, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she talked to Knuckles. Knuckles goes, "Yeah, my entire clan was eliminated by a, a gang of <laughs> large owls." And she's like, "Owls? That's crazy." And he and then, is Jewish. Yeah, because, because well, then she says, "Our people what? have been through stuff too," and I was like, "Okay, yeah. they, very odd." Yeah, in a knuckle, dude. If you see it in context, Ed Roger, it's crazy. You're like, yeah. oh my god, <laughs> why? It just seems like something that would not fit in the world of. Yeah, I was like, it, I mean, the, the way I discovered it was like it's like a South a Park boys, joke. Like Wade is watching Bad Boys at a flashback. It's like, okay, that movie's rated R, but I like Bad Boys. <laughs> so it's just like it's a Bad Boys show. seems it's more like in stuff. place than than a Holocaust reference though i don't know i feel yeah, like i don't know what they're that, doing that voice is next a good amount of jokes about balls like hey yo what did you just say to me and i don't oh, well, you heard him i didn't stutter there's a lot of jokes about balls <clears throat> yeah that's gonna be this episode of japan time out of here what the hey, fuck hey, 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 <laughs> what the fuck they talking about over there bro? hey yo on the topic of balls what? let's uh let's continue the conversation shofu I what? Like, no, please no, explain no. to me. That's not a segue I'm participating That's in. It's a segue we're going in. Please explain to me He's the beef between Drake and Kendrick. Bro, I want to know what's going on. You gotta be here. fucking crazy. Please. To do any I don't of know that. what's happening. I saw you streaming it. I saw everyone else streaming it. I saw Shizzy streaming it. I saw Fidel streaming it. What's going on? Why does the world hate Drake? Why did Kendrick cook him twice? Apparently three times. What happened? Uh, it was actually four. So. Four times? I just need to be educated. I feel like I'm not in tune with the culture. And I J. Need to Cole know. said, bro, we the, we, the, we the big three, but I feel like Muhammad Ali. Kendrick said, nah, it's just big me. Both y'all trash. Drake said, uh. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're already here. You have to keep going. You have no other. It's a one-way street. Drake said, "Future, I ain't your number one fan. You ain't got no number one hits without me, pussy boy." And then uh -huh. he said, "Rick Ross, shut your fat ass up." He did say that. That's <laughs> yes, a quote. Did. That's a yes, quote. He did. That's yes, a quote. He, he said that's that. A quote. He, said that. Uh -huh. he said that one hundred percent. That's he a quote. He said, "Weekend, I know your bum ass ain't talking, bro. You man spending all your money." <laughs> uh huh. Yep, that's what he said. Keep going. Every this is this is biographical. So and then he said, Kendrick, I know your ass ain't talking. Every time you drop, you got to get fifty percent of your money to your man's. What you talking for, broke boy? Right? And then Kendrick huh? was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> so this all stemmed from Drake making fun of them. No, this stemmed from this stemmed from Cole, and then it stemmed from Kendrick. Okay. Wait, but Cole is the what? Wait, wait. Cole Correct. said he wait, 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 was like wait, wait, Muhammad wait. Ali. 
Wait, oh, I forgot Jay about Jay Cole, Cole bump ass. Wait, hold on. Jay Cole. There's a reason. There's a reason why. Let me tell the damn story. You want to hear the damn story, man? Yeah, let him. Let him say. Let him say. I just. I have a question. J. Yes. Cole was the one, he started it, like you said. J. But Cole he's the is one the who first person shooter, right? first person shooter, okay, yeah. Who's the right. one that was like, yo, chill, okay. let me tell the story, okay, man, you'll ask me. I just want to know, man. I, I want to know, I want to know. Okay, I just to know. Yeah. so J. Cole said, we the big three, but I feel like Muhammad Ali, implying that he's better than the other two. Kendrick mm -hmm. said, nah, bum ass nigga, it's just big me, y'all trash. Mm. And then J. Cole responded first, and he said, bro, you doing shows, but you fell off like the Simpsons. Yeah, you like the Simpsons. Yeah, and, then, yeah. and then he said, you know what? My bad, bro. Like, you know what? I, I ain't trying to, I ain't he trying did to say do that. all that. Like, my, yeah. my fault. And he big. deleted he said, it. He said, my fault, big bro. Then he deleted his song. We did a <laughs> yeah. And then Drake song said, song and then Drake <laughs> said, every time you drop, you got to give 50% of your money to your man's broke boy. Right? <laughs> And then Kendrick said, don't tell lies about me and I won't tell truth about you, right? Wait, but hold on. Another quick question that I want to know. Oh, my when he God. said, when he said, because I want to actually genuinely understand, like, when he said give 50% right. of your money away, is he talking about, like, child support? Is he he's talking about contracts? Fucker, what? Contract? Yeah, I didn't know what he's talking about. He's talking about music <laughs> contracts. <laughs> got it, got it. I got it. I understand. I understand. Please continue. He said, bro, you're doing splits. Your pants my rib, okay? You really he hit him with the sponge, bro. And then, right, Kendrick said, don't speak on the family, Crody. It can get deep in the family, Crody. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. No, he did say that. 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 <laughs> and then, right, <laughs> and then Kendrick <laughs> dropped another song and was like, bro, OVO, them niggas work for me. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and then Drake dropped again and said, Kendrick, I know your ass ain't talking when you when you when you be beating on your wife and your baby not even yours. And he said, Hey Sarah Rocky, oh. I know your ass ain't talking. You was fucking my baby mama, but guess what I was doing when you was fucking my baby mama? I was fucking yours. Go ahead and drop another album, it's gonna be trash. Stick to modeling, pussy boy. He said all that. All that. He word did say word. that. He did and say he, that. He, 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 he shit on the weekend again. Word right. for word. Uh, word for word. Bar for bar, bro. Bar for bar. Bar for bar. Bar for <laughs> and bar. And then, right, Kendrick wow. said, okay, bitch, listen, Adonis, Drake's son, your dad a bitch. Drake's dad, <laughs> your son a bitch. Nah, he Drake's mother, your like, son a bitch. He he said Drake's daughter that we didn't know. Yeah, you didn't know I had. You didn't know we knew you had a daughter, he did said, you? I, Adonis, I wish your grandfather wore a condom, bro. Yeah. I, he, no, no. He, Roger, he did. I says, I think and he should then, die. He and then, and and then. Then. Wait, wait. He says that in the actual song. He yes, says, yes, I, yes, yes. Yes. He says, I, I, I think <laughs> people like you should die. Wait, but then the, the thing, wait. So then the shot, so Adonis, we knew about already. Drake had a kid. We knew yes. about So the, Kendrick the daughter we didn't know about. Yeah, with the daughter we didn't know. But like, he does the thing where he makes the song addressing his family. You know, he's like talking to Adonis. He's talking to his mom. He's talking to his dad. It's crazy. And okay. then, uh -huh. Kendrick said, hey, must have on a beat. Ho, a beat ho. Ho. And he <laughs> raps like he a freak, bro. <laughs> and then he said, freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. He said, say, oh, me. No, no, no. And then, and then and he said, then, oh, me. He said, oh, 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 me. 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 You're leaving a crucial fact here, Roger. Step this the way. Step, 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 step this way. Step this way. Step this You're missing a crucial point. All of a sudden, I need to know what he did. He did say, oh, me. Oh, And we did step this way. This is vital information. We did both of these things. I'm listening. I'm listening. He calls Drake a, I don't know if you can say it on there. You probably sound it. He calls Drake a pedophile. Multiple times. What? Of course uh, you could say he that said. Word, he of says. Because because Drake is a legal term, certified like... lover boy, right? So Kendrick tells him certified lover boy, more like certified. Oh my god! And then and then he and then, said, and then, and then Drake said, said oh, sure. and then Drake <laughs> said, I don't know what the fuck you talking about, bro. I ain't none of that stuff. But you probably hate that stuff because you got molested when you was a kid, and that's not what happened. Whoa, 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 <laughs> that's whoa! What he said. Whoa. That's what he said. That's what he said. That's, that's what he said. said. That's what he said. That's what he said. But don't, but don't forget like... what Drake said. If you want to, you want to strike a chord, it's probably a minor. a minor. And that's the whole beef summed up. Did I do a good Wait, job? Did I miss it? You did I it. forgot about you the did it. most important part, bro. <laughs> you did it. <clears throat> What's the most important part? What did he forget? BBL, Drizzy. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then Roger, uh, Roger another, another crucial detail. Another crucial detail is while all of that last stuff is happening, 
J. Cole just back there chilling, eating an apple in his kitchen. I just want you to know that. That's, he just in his kitchenette eating a whole ass apple. Okay, okay, I have a lot of questions then. Okay, so what's up with the apple? I guess okay, first. You know, apple, no <laughs> he's just over there. He just having. A, he just enjoyed a little. You know what I'm saying? A, a, okay. a nutritious snack. He just okay. Chilling. Second question is BBL. Is that uh -huh. big booty lady or is that Brazilian butt lift? What the fuck? I don't know what BBL <laughs> which, 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 No, 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 no. If he's which saying do you BBL think Trizzy, it is? Which, which do you think okay, it is? Okay, hold on, I don't know. No, no, you can find it right like girls with big No, 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 no. Which oh, do you think it is? I, want you to I guess. genuinely don't know. I'm no, asking. I want you like, to guess. It, Given the context, which do you think it is? Is the, is the context saying like that Drizzy is a BBL or got a BBL? In no, which case it listen, would be Big Booty Lowry. Listen, 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 Rodney. Bit, what is that what even? They, what What's they Lowry? Say, they say that Drake has fake abs. He got ab work done, and his abs are not real. They're 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 in got, it, got it, got so it. Okay, they're BBL. They said he got I a fake, got they got another. I, got I, mean, now, I don't know. Okay, the, okay, I don't know. Like, the the okay, so now that you got to understand here, there's some next level hating, right? Because Drake tells Metro Boomin, "Why don't you shut your whole ass up and make some drums?" Right. Thinking he's not gonna rap anything, so Metro was like, "All right, how about I give some drums to the world? Everybody out here, go make a diss to Drake. I'll give you the song if you make a banger this, and I'll give you ten thousand dollars." And so now everybody in the world is joining in. Sure, he's on got this mans beat. in Japan dropping the yeah. most fire fucking no. SoundCloud rap of all time. Metro Wait, just a diss next Drake. Level Hayden. Big he's yes. he's putting bounties out essentially. Big he's like, here's ladies. a bounty for Drake. I'll give you ten thousand yes. dollars. Big booty lady. He is a musical bounty for Drake. He said, "Big booty lady." He said, "Big booty lady." Booty lady. Booty lady. Booty lady. Booty lady. Booty lady. Now, yeah. now, had you said no, Big I'm Booty Lowry, we would have been talking. Yeah, big booty. But big I don't know what Lowry, Lowry is. Big Booty Lowry is. I know Lowry. Lowry. Lowry's, Lowry's the name. Okay. <laughs> hey, yo. Big Booty Lady, bro. <laughs> Lowry got a he said he, ass, bro. Yo, is it kind of Kyrie? It is what it is. That's big booty. has got to stick together. He said, he said Lowry dragging that wagon. And that's because you are so the question. Drake also pumps ass with him. Big niggas got to stick together, bro. I want to understand then. Now I'm even more confused something. Because my, this is what Shout I want to know. All the big this is what I want to know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So initially, make it clap, make it clap, when make I was it clap. Make it clap. <laughs> there y'all niggas got some tape. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I'm fucking wait, wait, wait. Fuck you, wait, 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 wait. So initially, yeah. when I was trying to... <laughs> The okay, funniest part okay, is that okay. this 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 bit has no context in the podcast in any way. It's just, I don't know what's going on. So I'm I'm trying to understand. So the the first thing I heard about this beef, right? I hey, yeah. had heard had heard that Kendrick was essentially calling Drake gay. There there was something in which he was like implying that Drake was gay. Who? Is what I was seeing on my timeline, and I guess that is not true. But I saw that, and then in my mind, Bruh. right, as someone who's unfamiliar with what's been going on between the two of them, I thought, okay, well, if you're a dude who's writing a song and then writing multiple songs about another guy, I would assume you have something going with that guy yeah, that yeah. you what love that guy. What the fuck is you way. talking about, bro? What so I'm asking? I'm just genuinely explaining. Sometimes I'm really forget how Roger is. Let me explain. Sometimes I really forget. Like, Roger's really I'm just asking. What is he talking about, man? So I had heard that initially, and I thought, oh, that's what Drake's beef was. But now you're telling me that he was calling Drake a pedophile? So why is he calling Drake a pedophile? Because I want to know where this is coming from as somebody Look, who man, we gotta go get into this on my on my time yeah. i'm just i'm just you don't have to do your own research my brother the without the light version you don't have to do your own research my brother the, 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 I, the well, i'm not gonna is, i'm not doing research on this all right look well, I, okay, I, then, 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 then why are you asking people have made some his comments about him texting Millie Bobby Brown when they when she okay, was so a that's, kid and giving her okay, life so advice. I, so I understood that correctly. Then so yes. this was about the Stranger Things kid. No, no. So that's one, but it's like it's been an ongoing thing just because of the fact that like it's that there's like a thing where he kissed a seventeen year old on stage. There's like uh, okay, and the way okay. and also like it's Kendrick is doing more than that. He's not just saying the pedophile. He's saying he's like 
tra- there's a lot of in shit. The first there's a lot one of he dropped, he didn't say anything about it, and people were begging him to say it on the next one because he didn't yeah. bring it up at all. Was he planning to do a second one, or was it because the so first one I did so well? It was no, no. It's what happened was in the fir- in Euphoria that the this replying to Drake, he was like, okay, this is about just this is like we're playing the game, we are in the game, and then he's saying when Drake brought up family, all right, well now it's over, the gloves are off, and he brought up everything. He shit on his family, he shit on his existence. He told them okay, to so, die. He called so them then the Euphoria thing. All right, so is yes. is he calling? the song euphoria because of the show euphoria yes because okay. euphoria is the it's show like for pedophiles that... right but yeah because no, drake is the also, executive producer, producer on it on drake, oh drake is a producer, producer on it. oh yes. oh then that okay so it, had, it works two olds. ways that, right exactly 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 okay. it's right, it's right. I'm on, yeah, i think yeah, are yeah, we literally explaining it. hip-hop to yeah. roger right now like, i just yeah, genuinely want to know i want to know what else is going on but i don't want to but the problem is, if I listen to the songs, right? Listen I'm not going to understand songs, what they're talking about because I don't know the backstory. Listen I needed to the, the damn backstory. Songs, man, you gonna so, understand I, all you need to know? I swear you are. I mean, I do. If, if the chat Bro, wants it, I, we can react <laughs> to the song right now. You know what I imagine is gonna I'll happen. Rock gonna talk to Rocky got smoke. Don't forget that. Ace Rocky, Rocky better not say not ner not not nothing. Wait, what? What was that? Huh? He said not a ner not. I don't want to hear nothing from Mesa, right? Not live reaction. We're not doing this right now. The chat's saying. I don't give a please fuck. Please react live. I've listened to these songs a trillion times in a row, bro. I'm not listening to them now. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, bro. He's getting shaky. Do your research, man. He's getting shaky when he's barking, son. So, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Roger, I'm, I'm not even joking. It's going to be like a one-hour segment if you You would not Wait, Roger, like I'm not know that if you actually listen to the song. You just said you listened to it. No, what I'm saying... Is that mm-hmm. I heard things from it on Twitter, so you right? Didn't and then I, was, yeah, yeah, I get it. No, I'm asking you. Well, let mm-hmm. me finish. I'm mm-hmm. asking, why then did he make the album art Drake's house? What was the like the Google Earth thing, bro, and please, why people are bro, now please. the icon? Okay, okay. I, I think please, it is Roger, the icon he put over the house multiple Roger. times. Is an icon for the sex offender registry. Yeah, he. I he understand. Took a... Got it. You get it. You get it. Got it. I get it. That's why. I, that's what I know thought. The, uh, but I wanted to clarify. Get I get it. There you go. I get it. I got it. So that's it then. That's the beat. They're not like us. They're and not it's like not us. stopping. He's still gonna keep going. He's still gonna like. Or is Drake done? Is Kendrick done? Are they just done? Uh, like, are they gonna make Drake, more Drake, songs? Drake sounded like done. He was done. I think we're done song. with this conversation. Jake sounded a little finished. Yeah, Drake, Drake sounded like he was done in the last song he dropped. Oh, I mean, him. Drake turned off his IG comments after the fucking last one. So no, he didn't. They're they're limited. No, he didn't. No, no. They're, they've always I, been, they've always been limited. Celebrity replies. Been limited. I, I, that's what I saw. No, I it's just the Twitter. Uh, they've always been limited for years. Yeah, that's nothing new. I know they've been limited. I, I thought they were completely turned off. Mm-mm. But Kendrick Kendrick yeah. is coming out of this the clear winner then, essentially. Yes. Oh, I mean, I, honestly, okay. I don't okay. fucking know because they're saying shit with not a lot of proof. If, if the niggas winning off lies, if Drake telling lies, like, I just don't know what's going on anymore. They really just got to shut the fuck yeah. up at this point. Like, they, yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I agree. Both of them got to shut up because this shit way too distracting. All right? I'm sick of this shit. Now what? They're just, now they're they're too distracting making, is crazy. Bro, I, bro every time Kendrick Lamar drops, whatever, if I'm taking a shit, if I'm at the grocery store, if I'm in the car, <laughs> I got to stop what I'm doing. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have to stop whatever it is I was doing to listen to the dance. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, I got to move out of this dance. Sounds like a Drake drops and Kendrick drops, I got to literally drop everything and listen to the dance song. He's right. He's right. He's right. Nah, it's, it's facts. It's facts. But it's just, is it okay? Is yes. it because you want to be educated on the beef? Is it because you just are, are excited to hear the music? Like, where is your your peak um, like thirst for the song coming from? Like, what? Why is it's everything just combined? It's, you everything. Know it's historic, Roger. It's really no. It's like actually like this shit is, does not like happen. we've had we've had rap beefs before. It's not like this is it, new. It hasn't been. No, but it's, like this. this is unprecedented. No, no, this <laughs> is <laughs> this is different. They're man. slinging they're slinging horrific fucking allegations at each other. It's crazy. Because, yeah, at first it started like, like, okay, we're just like, this is like just the typical rap beef where, you know, it's outperforming who does who better. Now it's like, you're a pedophile, you're a liar, your kid isn't yours. Like, now it's like, these but that just seems like, that just seems like that's all 
Drake's stuff? Like, what? What was? Like, what were the allegations against Kendrick? The, that what he's, he's claiming like, against like, Kendrick is one that he beats his wife, and two, which is I, the second one is stupid. Is that like his kid isn't really his, and that he like hasn't seen how, him in months? But how do you he know that it. it's stupid? We don't know anything. We have no facts whatsoever. That's what I'm saying. I have I no guess, idea if that's I, true or not. I literally have no. What I'm no, Drake, but what I'm his, saying is, what I'm that, saying is what, whether it's true or not. Like I'm like in my mind, I'm like okay, who cares? Like there are people that share their kid. All the time. Do I, I don't see why cares, that was, bro. Did you know so he, he, no, no, he does. He does. He doesn't. No, he doesn't get no. battle. He wouldn't get battle rap. He wouldn't get it. He wouldn't get it. He wouldn't get it. He wouldn't get it. What I'm saying is, it's a weak <laughs> rebuttal or conversation point. It's not though. That's how I know you don't get it. Maybe. How is it? Wait, wait, wait. How is it not though, Tito? Educate me. Because it is all about pers you. The, when you are in the instance, basically what they're doing is they're doing a rap battle via song. You. It is all about perception. You mm -hmm. want. You all you you are only concerned not about anything other than how the other person is viewed. You want to fundamentally change the way people view this person by the time they are done. Mm. And and so whatever you got to do to do that, because you can't assume that everyone is going to be offended, for lack of a better word, by the same thing. Not everyone's going to think the same things are as bad as other things. That's just not mm. how people. Work. I don't mm. even so. <laughs> I don't even understand where this shit went though. Like. It was Left. supposed to be. It was supposed to be them battling to see who was better at rapping, and now they're just. I don't know what's but going this on. Day, wait, 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 that <laughs> this, back, this is in just, a weird just, spot now. Just so I'm familiar, that dates back to when J Cole was involved in this, right? Like this oh, was no, all. That's why I said he's chilling. Now yeah, he is. So now yeah, he has nothing to do with this at all. Yeah, right. now he has nothing to do with this because okay. he, he literally no joke at a concert at his event. He was like, "Yo, I felt pressured." My bad, like, I don't want this. You can punch me in the face, Kendrick, if you want, on, on a beat. I'm out of here, though. I don't want to do this. I'm keeping my peace. I, that's fair, to be honest. Yeah, so no, then, I mean, no. I'm, like, yeah, I'm, I'm sure someone told them. They are like, God, bro. They were like, don't do this. This is going to be bad. Not, it's it's, it's, badly it's definitely you. in a weird spot because, like I said, usually when people are dissing each other, they're just trying to show that, that they're not as yeah. good as they say they are, right? I'm better than you. I can rap mm -hmm. better. I'm the best. That's where it my started. Right I Kendrick, my Kendrick said, better. I'm my the best. Better. He said, y'all trash. Oh, it's just big me, right? Now we talking about yeah. pedophiles and, and white beating. What, yeah, they what, went like, yeah. Where they went are like, we at? Like, <laughs> like, it was lovely. Like, up to Euphoria, like end of Euphoria, we were good. We were like, oh, shit, this is it left just a rabbit. It's just, yeah, it's just, just... Not, it's not in a place where it's just, like, it's just, it's just ridiculous now. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy now. <laughs> It's like, like it's, now, it's too much, a lot. It's a now it's a much. thing of like they're making claims that like we need proof of. Otherwise, I'm like, well, because now thing, whoever cause... wins or loses this is based on who has proof. But I'm like, these guys aren't gonna be pulling up receipts. They're not gonna be. That's dropping what I was gonna say. This doesn't seem like a twit longer situation. Exactly. These like motherfuckers both... aren't gonna be dropping twit longers on right. each other. So like, right, right. we're not getting this proof. I genuinely don't believe that. Unless one day they're exposed about something. Drake was even saying that, like, oh, we fabricated that shit. We we fed you false information about my kid. And he blah, definitely blah. doesn't have a fucking eleven year old daughter. That was crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. If that's how you're gonna beat Drake, if the shit not true, I can't give you points for that. What the fuck is the truth? What the fuck is a lie? I don't know anymore. Now I don't care. <laughs> now I don't care. Well, it's done. So you're like over it now. I'm completely over it. Okay. Bro, Kendrick done dropped more music in the last three days than he has in the last two years, bro. No, that's a fact. <laughs> Nonstop. It's crazy. So then, so I then know a couple niggas like, like that, too. So that if... What's up? Then I'm confused. If he's dropping more music than he has in the last 10 years, two, two, just two, on this Drake... Two, two, oh, two. Two years. Two years, me, two, years. two years. If he's doing this and he's, he's focusing so much on it, do you think it's just like... For monetary reasons, like he's obviously I mean, he riding has, a wave right now and much, just doing a bunch. He, has much more he already than, has a ton of money, though. He has much more to gain than Drake ever did. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Drake has been in a lot of rap beats, and he usually has absolutely nothing to gain from engaging, and he still does. So he just hates him, and he just wants to keep hating on him. Yeah, he hates that guy. Man. But he's, listen, yeah, listen, just, listen to bro, li listen to. I will. I will. I will actually meet, listen to meet the Grams. Okay. And you're going to see that he fucking hates that guy. Oh, dude, Meet the Grams are visual he hates age. that guy, bro. So what is up with the – What? why is it called Meet the Grams? He's talking about his Because family. that's – Oh, Drake. That's oh, okay. Obvious. Yeah, Drake's name. I got you. 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 Okay. I got you. But I didn't know if it was like that – okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's obvious. Yeah. I got that.
It is All entertaining, right. though. I just the thing I I didn't understand was that I was seeing people who were so locked into this, who I know damn well have never even listened to one Drake song, and mm-hmm. meanwhile their entire Twitter feeds <clears throat> for like weeks were this. Well, no, it wasn't weeks. Well, it is, it, it, There's it, it, nobody that has not heard a Drake song before. Let's just get that. Yeah, out the way. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, well, Kendrick maybe then I don't know, but like it, I, it is a very it is a very historically significant. Like especially yeah. for people who don't like rap, and they were and they were going back. Like this shit hasn't happened since like when when like like West Coast East Coast shit, and that was huge at the time. Even people who don't fuck with rap will listen to that shit, but that shit don't happen no more. So this is like very, it's very odd, especially when two artists who are so famous, right, right, do it. Like it's very, it's very, it's very important, significant. Or sorry, it's very historic. Like for the history of hip hop, yeah. Yeah, well, just music in general because or, you know, yeah, I guess that's true. Drake yeah. is Drake is more of a mainstream artist than Kendrick is. No, that's yeah. not so, true. I guess that's, that's true. true. Huh? No, 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 not at this point. They both well, not have, maybe they both in the have, last forty-eight hours. They both I have think very, very. I'm talking. I'm, I'm talking historically. I like, mean. I mean, yeah, but I'm saying like at yeah. this point, I'm not saying that. At this point, I'm not saying it. Yeah, at this point, you're not saying it. But well, I'm no, just, not now just, because he's involved. Yeah, he's not. He's talking about historically, like Drake. Drake would be considered more. Mainstream over his whole career, than Kendrick. I suppose. Yeah, that's true. Man. So now we're just kind of waiting for proof. Hey yo, Why I get on what? Twitter. Hey yo, what? Wait, yo, what? Fidel, what, what the fuck is going on, bro? Wait, what's what happening? Hey yo, what the fuck is this, bro? What did I do now? Wait, what, what did you do? Oh, oh you want to know what you did, right? You want to oh, know what you did? No. I told something. What's, what what's going do? on in this video? What? Did, you got meat oh, in your mouth, my hey, brother. Yo. You got hey, to yo. you got Wait, meat in your mouth. this video. Brother. What is the video? <laughs> no, no, no. This is me and I. Hey, bro. yo, what's going on? Hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> hell no. Nah. Bro, I had meat I, on his face. I, Wait, what's I happening just here? I just don't. You sharing meat with some guy? <laughs> What were you, what wait, was he gonna man. was he gonna take it out of your mouth? Yes, yes he was, yes he, he was. was. Hey! Yes, he was. Yes, no! he was. <laughs> yes he was. Fidel, bro, listen, man. Oh, that's Biba. Listen to what? It's it's Biba. <laughs> why are you and Biba? Why are you and Bebop making out over sausage? Y'all was doing the lady. Wait, what's the fucking movie called? The lady in the tramp. Lady, lady in the tramp with the salt with the breakfast sausage. <laughs> hey, yo. No, no, bro. Not the breakfast glizzy. This is crazy. Like, yo ass was passing breakfast sausage no, mouth to no. mouth, nigga. <laughs> no. Hey, yo. That's got to be your man. I'm killing myself. Hello? No, no, let him. Hey, hey. Let's, let's oh, take it two steps back. Three three steps back. Steps back Tito. <laughs> Tito, what, what, we want to say that again and say this was a joke. Go ahead, Tito. In Minecraft. In he's Minecraft. Gonna, We're staying in Minecraft. He's not going to say it. That's great. Cr- I guess he's it. already in hell right now. He's already dead because he's playing Hades too, right? So what's up, Tito? How's That's hell true. feeling? Uh, I actually can't respond to that segue because that is a spoiler. What? It's a spoiler to say Hades 2 takes place in hell? Yes. Because it okay, does so not. It's, okay, it's in heaven then. Just tell, I don't no, care. No, it is tell not. Tell me about Hades 2. <laughs> like, what the? F- what neither does that even mean? Neither oh, it's in hell. So it's purgatory. Then what? I, no. No. What there's heaven, hell, and purgatory. Where the hell you, else is it gonna bro, be? Bro, it is first of all, it is not it is a Greek it is Greek, so that is very different. They have so multiple... it's in Greece. What I, I, I You're the one who told me not to spoil you, Roger. I'm not I'm going spo- with you. I, I know I'm not spo- I mean like ending things about it. I'm saying if you're playing the game right now, it's the very beginning of the game. It's not a spoiler. I'm just uh, the game's good, man. You like you the, you know how you played Hades one. You get story I from did. the second you load in. The second you, you load in, you get plot. I think the location of Hades two is a spoiler. Is it in Canada? No, 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 no. He asked. He said it was in L. I just said it's not in L. That's all. Where I said. is it? You start in fucking um, because because in Greek mythology, there are mo- based off how you lived your life. You uh-huh. go to multiple planes of mm. of the afterlife. So like Mount it Olympus is, and stuff. Yes, so it's some of them are purgatory, but some of them are there's like a whole de- like if you were really cool, there's a whole different heaven for you. It, okay. Now, if you were a regular boring ass nerd, then there's a whole different type of afterlife for you. So oh, shit. this in uh, in Hades two, you play. I played like three hours of it, and you uh, you play as this chick, who I guess I, I guess is uh, Atreus's 
sister, I guess. And uh, the premise is some shit. You don't know where Hades. You don't know where Trace is. Some shit happened. And the big bad is 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 uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Kronos. Well, okay. So it's the game is very good though. I've gotten to the second boss and it's very good and the music is fire. I mean the first game was excellent. I loved yes. the first game. So I'm sure if it's anything like the first game, it's gonna be great. Yeah, I Making, said a trace. I I meant know. Yeah, I know what you meant. Is yeah, yeah. um does anybody know if the data carries over from the early access into the main I do game? not know that. Does the chat I, know? I would I would assume. Normally early access is not like a beta. It's literally you're playing the full game at a not finished state, so normally that stuff mm. carries over. It's the, the first like, like, areas. Oh yeah, it definitely I varies. I don't know if no. it did it in the first one. Oh, they said no, then I'm waiting. I'm not playing this yet. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm not doing yeah, that. I don't think I want to play it. I just want to wait. I'm not, yeah, I'm not I think an I'm early access person. I, I mean, I would be. Research. I would be just to know, like, what the best weapons are or whatever when you finally start the real game. I can just tell you. Or the you, best yeah. upgrades or whatever. I can just tell you. Based on what you've played, what do you think are the best ones? I've only played with one or two weapons. The game is already more difficult, by the way, than, than Hades 1. Like, already. In what way? Um, they are less, um, I guess there's a steeper, like, cause the beginning of Hades one, there's a very nice difficulty curve as you go up. And then there's the, it's very backloaded in terms of like the ending is really difficult compared to the beginning. Whereas this game, the game has a, um, it's two things, a, the movement and B, the fact that like the enemies at the beginning are a lot more just different, like Difficult in terms of like right. you would see these enemies in Hades one on the third world, but you're seeing it on the second. And well, there's like you have now a skill tree now, right? You said what? You have a skill I, tree now, right? I don't. I, maybe I don't know. I haven't gotten there, but like, so okay. like this chick is like uh she's like a witch. So like she has mana, and like she has like you know how like Zagreus has like a dash that you could like spam. She doesn't have that shit. She has a run that you can do that has startup, so you can't just like spam your dash anymore or just like use it for like free damage so like fundamentally they already just off of those two small things they play very very differently so um because zagreus was kind of kind of broken so is zagreus not in this at all zagreus hades and um uh what's uh what's her name the wife i persephone yeah persephone something happened to them i don't know what it is but no they are nowhere to be found Okay. So Kronos did something to them, and I no one knows. And so instead of going up, you are going back down mm. in this game. So you are trying to find a way back to the to get to Kronos to to I guess try to to get to 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 the underworld to save everybody. Okay. Do you feel like with your three hours? Do you feel like you're nearing the end of like early access, or you think there's still a shit ton to do? I mean, I've only gotten to the second world, and I'm going to tell you, as somebody who I believe that year, I believe that year, Hades was my game of the year. The second, the the second boss has my favorite song between the two games already. Like, well, there's nice. all like, and it felt like there was more. Like, it's so much more personalities. The redesign of all the gods, by the way, is fire. Aphrodite's whole naked, basically. Aphrodite's always been like that, though. Yeah, but like even like like even I gotta check that out. All right, I gotta check that. But yeah, the game the game is very fun, and I'm very excited to keep playing a little bit more of it. Um, I would be playing it now, but I wanted to kind of pick, so I'm hell diving right, right on. Which means your mic is cutting out every other word. My yeah, so do you want to talk about this hell divers news? It's not really news. I mean, it kind of already. Yeah, it, it started like, and then resolved. Yeah, but so it, I don't know if we want to talk it, about it. Yeah, maybe not. But it's for those of you who don't know what's going on, essentially, if I'm understanding this correctly, people bought the game on PC, but they didn't update where now you're required to log in with PSN, and people got really mad about that because certain countries don't have access to it. And then those countries that don't have access to it. 177. That's like, that's a lot. Wow, that's a lot. But then yeah, those so, countries, the game got delisted off of Steam, yeah, right? So, and so, so the people so, who bought the game can't even play the thing. So the game was bought, always meant pissed. to launch with requiring your PSN. Got it, it. All, it. It launched that way. But the PSN servers took a shitter 
uh, when the release of the game is. So instead of instead of saying you can't play the game because obviously that's just like it'll it'll tank their sales, mm. they made that optional. And so then they put out a release that said, "Hey, next patch, by the way, this thing that we were going to do anyway, we're gonna do now." Um, and then people got pissed off about that, and so then they ever so then they review bombed the game, and then now the Sony was like, "My bad," and then hopefully the reviews go back. Which is negative actually one hundred thousand, by the way. The craziest thing to me is one hundred thousand negative themselves. reviews. Two hundred thousand. Yes. Two hundred. Jesus. Yeah. They literally went. It literally went from a overwhelmingly positive review on Steam to mixed in like less than thirty six hours. Wow. Yeah, it got destroyed. But (laughs) it's it's crazy because Sony is a company that if they're winning, they don't give a fuck. They'll do whatever they want. So it's it's amazing that they themselves back down from this. Well, I think they just tweeted out how big of a a money printing machine, but it's also really not actually. But it kind of is compared to like everything because Sony doesn't really have anything this year. They had Rebirth. It's, out it's a like, big thing. Like the, oh my, a, I think the big it. reason they're pushing this, like even yeah, maybe they planned this whole time, but the, but the reason they're pushing it even at the risk of losing players because that they can say, look at all these active users in PSN we have for the shareholders. That's why they really want this. But it's like the backlash was so high, and they risk of just damaging the golden goose, so they finally back down. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess that's it. Well, a piece of news that we also will not be talking about this week in great depth, mostly due to the fact that uh, we're probably going to be getting a lot of news within the next 48 hours is tonight is unfortunately, we always miss this, the Nintendo financial investors oh, meeting man. in which uh, they will most likely be talking about the successor to the Nintendo Switch, mostly due to the fact that if they don't talk about this, when we know it's coming out in the next fiscal year, the investors are going to be really, really pissed. So a big thing to note is that they're probably mm. not going to give us much information. I've seen some people no. tweeting out being like, oh, they're going to drop the, the first teaser for it right after. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's going to be no. something as simple as people asking about it, the investors asking about it, them saying we have nothing to announce at this time, but stay tuned because there will be an announcement this year. And I think it'll mostly be that, you know, past couple of years, they've said, we have no plans to release something this fiscal year. And I think this time around, it'll be, we have plans, but we're not able to talk about them just yet. Um, this one's also interesting because this quarterly financial update is the one where switch is going to officially hit 140 million units. There's potential for it to hit 150, which is kind of crazy. That's insane. Uh, We're going to have a lot of different software sales updates, and there's just been a lot of weird rumors around Nintendo recently between, like, the magnet Joy-Cons, apparently, for this Switch Attach. for the the um, magnetic Joy-Cons. The magnetic Joy-Cons, apparently, the 1080p screen. There's a rumor going Mm. around from the person who's known for actually having a lot of truthful rumors, not just, oh, that's another one. We'll talk about Puro a little bit later. But um, the Persona leaker person, what's the name? Midori, Midori, the GOAT. Midori. So Midori tweeted out a thing today saying that there's a game that's codenamed Banquet that's in development right Mm -hmm. now. Within Nintendo? Now, people pointed out that that was a code name for Super Mario Party back in the day, mm. like four or five years ago. So I'm guessing it's probably Mario Party. I think it's, I I think it's it Mario Kart, honestly. I think it's Mario Kart. No. Only, really? Yeah, because Mario Kart's got to be a launch game or near launch or at least launch year for Switch 2. Like that name and I don't for, see, that's such a weird code I, name for Mario but why? Party. I mean, like, if you get... Like, uh, cause what's bouquet or bouquet? What is the word? No, banquet. Banquet, banquet. banquet is different than bouquet. Oh, no, it's even yeah, you know, it's banquet even more so. Then I'm thinking like banquet. If if this is indeed the rumored, you know, crossover Mario Kart game that has all the different franchises, like Maybe. invite everybody to I a mean, party. Exactly. I guess it's people's brain is banquet. just going to Mario Party because that that was the old code name for it. I, I mean, I don't see a world game. in which Mario Party gets announced this year though like i don't see another no, Mario no, no, see, game coming no i i disagree if you look at the the i looked at on the wiki it is literally every three years it was 2012 2015 mm. 2018 2021 and now we're 2024 so whether it's they are 100 percent announcing that like that is their if you look that is factually their every holiday three years game? for them interesting i think that'll be their holiday october game yeah weird 
weird. I because I mean they're obviously they're sitting on so much stuff that we already know about that's like not even secret. They've got the genealogy remake they're cooking, mm-hmm. they've got Twilight Princess HD, Wind Waker HD, all the other rumored 3DS ports that came out of the same rumor in which we ended up hearing about Luigi's Mansion 2 getting ported. So there's mm-hmm. the rumor about Kid Icarus Uprising. We know Bandai Namco is developing something. Please. We're, we're just like in a weird spot where outside of Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion, we really don't know. What else is coming? Obviously, yeah. we don't know what's going on with Prime 4. It's just, it's a weird time. Mm-hmm. It is, it is, it, this is just how Nintendo is when they get to the end of their life cycle. They just pump out remasters. Yeah. They did it for 3DS. The last year of 3DS's existence was Yoshi's Woolly World HD, Mario Maker 2 HD, uh, Superstar Saga, uh, Luigi's Mansion 1 HD. This, this is just what they do when... Yeah, their consoles ending, and so they're just doing that with Switch now. I, uh, I'm with you. I think the fall is literally going to be like Fire Emblem Four, Mario Master, yeah, Mario Party as their new Emblem, game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Fire Emblem and Mario Party. I could see them doing that for sure. Um, and then Wind Waker to quit their day, their yearly Zelda game. Yeah. The only thing that I would say is, and I'm not saying that like I think this is going to happen, but I do think it is likelier tonight than most times in which we get these investors meetings that there could be announcements that come immediately after this um only due to the fact that this has happened a couple times before and historically it's happened <laughs> either before console launches so this was like with the dsi if some people remember the days of the dsi there was like a big investors call and then right afterwards they announced the dsi again i don't think we're getting that with switch 2 necessarily i think it's going to be something similar to what happened in 2016 where after the investors meeting they were like by the way the nx re- releases march 2017 and there might be like some code name announcement or something but Beyond that, I don't think there's too much. But again, there's precedent for this because the Sonic in Smash Brothers announcement and the announcement of Monster Hunter 4 for 3DS, which was like a huge deal because that was when that game officially like switched over to Nintendo systems for a generation and a mainline console. Both of those happened during the investors meetings. And then we're talking about... So there, I mean, there is precedent for something to be announced and... The, where we are right now with the Switch's life cycle, I honestly wouldn't even be surprised if you're correct and they are making a Mario Party if that ends up getting announced in some weird it way. It could be. A, right? Well, also, yeah. I mean, if we talk about the Pioro thing and even the rating. Right, right. So let's talk about that very briefly. So Pioro, who well-known leaker that we've talked about in the show before, basically tweeted out an image of the cartridge of the Nintendo World Champion 1990 NES game. And then... There was no context to it. People were doing wild speculation saying it meant like yeah. Switch or all this other stuff. And then he straight up was like, mm, no, actually, it's just Nintendo World Championships is coming to like the old 1990 NES cartridge is coming to Switch. Apparently, it's $30. And this has since been confirmed by the ESRB, which is also very weird because, like, knowing Nintendo, these games never get confirmed by the ESRB because Nintendo mm-hmm. is aware of when those listings go up. So the fact that the game got confirmed via an ESRB leak is also kind of unprecedented too. We're in a weird situation with Nintendo. I have never even seen footage of this game. Is it like an actual game or is it yeah, just an so, event? Yeah, it was, it was an, an event game. and I, the winner took the cartridge home. Right. And the cartridge was basically like all the different games that they played during the event, right? Right. Because I'm looking at it. Yeah, just a. This, I mean, this is like four games. It's like Tetris, Mario One. Right. See, I well, the because the rating made it sound like it was a bigger deal. Like it was like a right. re. Huh? That's that's also what I'm wondering is like if this is just a port of that. I mean, they've done that before and sold it for full price. Like we just talked about this last week on the last episode about the Mario rankings. How like Mario All Stars on the Wii was literally just a ROM of Mario All Stars mm-hmm. that was disc so th- there is precedent for this like they have done this type of thing before but it specifically the world championship nes cartridge is just a bizarre one to do yeah and like why now it's not like it's a big anniversary year because like, i'm it, looking it, at the the esrb for it it's a collection of 2d challenges and platformer games in which players traverse through various modes e.g speedrun survival several challenges involve reaching specific points while others prompt players to defeat small enemies or survive brief battles that comes off as like NES Remix. Right, which is also kind of what I was thinking too. We're like, okay, if this is an NES Remix type situation, are they going to be literally adding other games to this? Like remixing the games that were on the yeah, original I don't know. cartridge? It just feels very strange. It's a, yeah, also, this is one of the weirdest things. 
not not only that, but like also that this happened now and not two months ago when they actually had the world championships with like Splatoon mm-hmm. and Smash. They literally just had them. So I'm like, why would you then do this now? It's just bizarre. And know. again, it's, really it's not even one. like a it's not even a an anniversary year for this. Yeah, it's not like it started like, in it's, 1990. It's like it's 34 years ago. Like it's not 35, it's not 30. It's just, it's very strange. Yeah. There's like, this comes off to me, but like, it's like, they're going to have to, if it is any streaming set, they're going to have to offer something good. Cause I mean, $30 is still a lot for, at right. this point, NES games, people do not feel like more than $5 is worth no. even for like a collection of them. Also, so almost $30 all of for this. are literally free on NSO. So yeah, like, exactly. I buy any of them, which is also what made me question this. Cause at first I thought, oh, it was going to be the original 1990 cartridge, but they were going to put it on NES NSO. NSO so yeah. For May. Cause like April, they had Iggy's Wrecking Balls and Extreme G and all that kind of stuff. And then I figured, okay, that would be their game for May is they'll put this on mm-hmm. NES NSO, but that's not the case. This is like a standalone $30 game. And then someone else also pointed out that the NES remix, what was this, the second one? The Wii U one? Apparently the second yes. NES remix on Wii U apparently had like a world championship remix mode in it with some of this stuff already yeah. in it. And that was a full game. So they're taking part of a another game and then putting it in. It just, it's odd. The whole yeah, thing. It's is- a really weird one, man. It's like, I don't know. I don't know how to decipher. I don't know why this exists. I'm sure they'll show us, but it's weird. Yeah. Very, very weird. Well, I mean, beyond the Nintendo World Championship news, and again, the news that there's uh, an investor meeting tonight, and we're unfortunately going to be missing it. I'm I'm trying to think, like, is there any other Nintendo-related news that has happened since? I feel like everyone's just been talking about Drake and Kendrick, and there hasn't really been a lot of... Not really. Not directly Nintendo stuff, but there's been a couple betas and alphas that dropped. So let's talk about it. What were you playing? Uh, So first was Rivals 2. Which was a uh, very good, honestly. It's like yeah, I was watching a lot of it. It looks very good, very clean, yeah. very polished so far. Yeah, definitely. Like you can tell, they they took what they learned from Rivals One and are just pushing it further from what they can do because like they didn't have Legend, they didn't have Shields because it was like a technical thing with the old game, but now it has those. So you have those, but you still have all the other tech that they kept over. It's very. I mean, it's a very fun game. It's just like I know day one for me was like. You know, I don't play the melee stuff. I mean, I I have, but it's like not like my main game. So when you're playing a Kickstarter beta versus people who play these games all the time, it's kind of hard <laughs> to play a character that you don't know because the characters I actually played in Rivals aren't in the game. So that was like rough, but like spending time just playing the character and learning made it better. But I think honestly, it's a really fun game already. So I'm excited to see where they change it. I mean, I I will say me personally. I kind of the one thing I wish they would change. I don't think they're going to because it's going to be like as melee close to melee as possible while still being slightly different is like the down throw tech chase. Like tech chases is fine. You can just react because it's the na- nature of the game, nature of the game. You just react to people. So you're kind of locked in it. But like the ability to just down throw someone, you tech chase them. But the reward is you can just grab them and down throw them again. So it just keeps going unless they're forced to go to a ledge to in- like get rid of that altogether or do you got to hope the opponent messes up and doesn't react kind of stuff. So like that, that loop, kind of hope it changes oh uh i will say <laughs> i also hope they uh they change some like zetterburn is just strong obviously he's like the space animal in the game so his wave shines his fire mechanic i still think is stupid because like sure he puts fire and it's a dot so you take damage it's like a wolf laser though so it's a giant projectile and you take damage but also his smash attacks power up if he hits you with them and he already has some smash attacks in the game so that mechanic has always been stupid and remains stupid uh, Loxodont is a giant wall of, <laughs> of like swinging stuff for the new characters. Of like, I have never seen a heavy character who is so good at being defensive because like Rivals has stuff where you can just do jab one into other stuff. Loxodont's jab one is very far away from him, and off of jab one, he gets to grab you, or he can do jab one, F tilt one, which will also pull you in, and then up tilt. Like, he just has a lot of stuff he can do from a range where a character of his type, it seems, well, to me at least, it feels like this feels a little strong, this type of character. But, yeah, he's, uh, he's very good. Fleet, I like a lot. And then the more I've got the player and figure her out, uh, people apparently think she's the worst in the game right now, from what I've heard. I don't feel bad, but, yeah. Not too much about it. It's a fun game. Uh, definitely check out Rivals 2. Uh, it'll have another beta, I think, 
either this month or next month they're going to do another one. Uh, and then they're going to... Well, we already know two characters that are coming. Forsburn and Orkane, both. The Forsburn didn't leak. They showed a video that showed a 3D model of him, so obviously he's coming when Orkane leaked. So, the two more characters that we're getting eventually. I still have never played the original Rivers of Ether. I've never played it. It's okay. I don't feeling game. It's it's yeah. it's kind of strange coming from Smash, especially the the lack of shields and lack of ledges. You yeah, definitely sure. feel those not having throws as well is a bit strange, but it's pretty I unique. This one feels better. more closer to a regular Smash. Yeah. So I might give this one a shot then. Okay. It oh, also, good. another thing they changed is their special getups, special pummels, and special ledge getups. These are all not created equal. And <laughs> I feel like they need to address those. Like uh Loxodon's special ledge yep. takes him to some the smaller stages. He gets up with an attack that takes him basically to center stage almost. And it's an active hitbox the whole way. Like you have a you have a part where you can trade or beat him out like as he starts it, but at the rest of that, he's just going to hit you. It hits pretty high in the air too. It's kind of annoying. While other characters like Fleets, I think it's really bad because it doesn't do anything. So like they gotta I feel like I need to go back to lab with some of those, but it's cool. I think uh, I think uh, if you didn't really like the sprite style rivals, this is a cool game. I will say, I mean, they're going to add more casual ish modes, but I don't know to the extent. That's like one thing I will say because I don't know for you, Roger. I know you you're more you're not really out there trying to like sweat it up. <laughs> I <laughs> like am not. fight someone I who's going to run not. you down. Yeah, no. but like. I mean, to be fair, though, I like it occasionally, like if you're playing Street Fighter or something, but this just doesn't seem like a game based on what I've seen or a series based on what I've seen that I would want to dedicate my time to, you know, in the same way. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. But I say, like, uh, give, it, give it a bit, because I think they're supposed yeah. to have some more casual-ish stuff, I and mean, then you might like that. Right on. Uh, while we're still on the topic of fighting games, there's actually a thing that happened recently that I do kind of want to talk about a little bit because it's really cool. Is that new mod for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, like the cell shaded mm. mod, make the game look way better? So yeah. if I'm understanding this correctly, Maximilian Dude commissioned somebody to make a new art style for Infinite to get more people into the game. And so far, there have been, like, a lot of different screenshots and visuals of the game. It looks incredible so far. Like, the little things I saw of Ryu and Spider-Man, the new filters that are in the backgrounds. Like, it does look significantly better than I ever remember that game looking. It looks totally different. And I'm just yeah. curious, like, why now? I mean, I'm happy about this. This is great. I love Marvel vs. Capcom games. More love for those games. But it's just, uh, yeah, it was very random and cool. I think the guy was already working on it, and then Max was like, yeah, like, you shouldn't be doing this for free. I'm going to pay you. Like, got it, got it, to make more. Yeah, cool. and to, like, make it come out faster and stuff like that, if I am yeah. correct, but. Sweet. I mean, yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, looks super cool there. I don't um, know if I'll be playing it, but. Well, is this is on the PC version, obviously, like, if they're modding yeah. it. Yeah. I can't imagine this as, okay, okay. So yeah, it's yeah, e like, it's easy to download and like, yeah, like the PC version at the moment is probably not very expensive. Right on. Uh, this is actually a relatively breaking piece of news. This was about an hour ago. This came out. Uh, apparently, the Super Mario Brothers movie from last year was last year's most profitable film, making a net profit of five hundred and fifty nine million dollars. <laughs> wow. So yeah, that's uh that is a lot of money. We are definitely going to be getting more Mario movies in the near future. I know they already said they're doing a second one. That's already uh that's been talked about. They're doing a second one, and then of course they're also doing the Zelda movie as well in collaboration with Sony. But man, five hundred and fifty nine million dollars. That is a lot. Well deserved though. I think it was a great little fun little movie. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Still, that's why. I mean, it's it's Mario. So, so I get it, but still, yeah, that's a lot. I'm looking. I I think that pretty much wraps it up. I guess no, the no, only no, thing... no, 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 no. Oh, there was another alpha. Okay, for what? A Smite two this past weekend. Oh, have you guys been playing it? I played a lot of it. I think I played twenty to thirty hours so over. Did Shofu? I, I know Shofu plays Smite all the time. I doubled. Game look kind of crusty. So mm. I play too much. That shit ass, bro. Keep it a stack. It's not ass. Wait, what? I oh, T posing all over the goddamn place. I mean, it's an alpha. It's, an, I'm not sure it's an alpha. What did I say? It's an alpha. Okay. The, the game, the game, kicked me. Not kicked me out. It froze and locked 
th like twice. I did it twice. Where I was, I was in God Select, and it locked me. Wouldn't let me pick a character because apparently, if I pick a same character or a character the same time or within a second of another character, it doesn't let me pick any other character, and then it bans me for thirty minutes. And we we had a game that uh, it spawned six characters on the enemy team. And the Anubis spawned in our fountain and just kept dying. <laughs> he couldn't nice. get out of the fountain. He just died. So that was kind of funny. But no, like, I don't know. A game's like, it's what a lot of these games that are dropping twos should be. It's like, they obviously understand what made their game successful. They also understood what the shortcomings were, what they had to deal with to make it back in the day, and are pushing it forward. Like, I love that roles are gone, basically. Yeah, gods are gonna be designed in a certain way where they're gonna go someplace. But right now, it really feels like you can take any character into any lane and do yeah, whatever that's you want. Did all the characters what? carry no, over? Like all the weird guest not, characters? Not, not yet. No, I mean, there's not really any guest characters. There's like skins, but no, not yet. But that's right. right. There's fourteen. There's fourteen characters in, and they're like slowly gonna add more and do more stuff. But no, like I think, I think sick. Like, uh, well, for me, it's like the characters I really want to play aren't there. But like, I wanted to learn Fenrir anyway, so I started playing Fenrir. That character's also busted. I always think he's getting nerfed. But uh, <laughs> but you can go anywhere. I love the new item decision. So, like, because there's no rolls, you're not locked into items anymore. And the way they change it is characters now scale with strength or intelligence, and some characters scale with both. So, like, you're, the choice of items you can actually build is much more open because you're not locked into, well, as this, as this god who is this role, I can only build these items. Now you have every item. The item is, like... Uh, I'm trying to think of the other way to do this compared to regular smite. Because it's, it's kind of... I don't... Mm, I'm trying to think how to describe this. Because my head goes to Dota, because I play a lot of Dota. I haven't played League, so I can't really... I can't really uh, equip... Like, make an equivalent to League itself, but... Not really full on... There's, like, recipes, but in Dota you actually buy a recipe item that doesn't exist. But, like, you're buying... Different uh, pieces that all go together to make the item. So, like... You can buy, so like as Fenrir, I'll start with an axe because it makes my clear better. But from the axe, I could make uh, a lifesteal item. I can make what is called a bruiser item. So it's both offensive and defensive. I can make a full offensive item. So like from that one item start, my options are much bigger than it was in Smite 1. Mm -hmm. And you can pivot based on how your lane is going, how the game is going. So like that stuff's really cool. Uh, if someone asks abilities, they, everyone who's in there has been redone. Like, even if it's a minor thing, so for instance, with Fenrir, him using Brutalize gives him runes. Him pressing his alt gives him five runes when it ends, although sometimes that glitched. If I already had five, it wouldn't give me five. Uh, so it's like, they're, they're taking all the characters and re- cause, I mean, they basically have to, because a lot of, like, in Smite 1, when a character had a role, that role gave them passive stats, because roles are gone. At a baseline, you need to readdress characters. Because that the role, like the past stats and roles don't exist. So you kind of have to go back in there. Zeus, for instance, if he has three of his stacks on you, he can now stun you. So like there's like they're going through and doing a lot of stuff. So no, I, I think it's especially for an alpha, it's in a very good it's, it was in a much better state than I thought for an alpha, personally. All right. Right on. Uh anything else regarding Smite? Or anybody else been playing anything else? We just talk about Evo Japan? Oh, no, I guess we did. Well, go ahead. Take it away, because I actually didn't mm. even get a chance to watch it yet. I mean, just, just Evo Japan was just pretty good. There were some good sets going on. Yeah. Uh, lots lots of different uh, sets across multiple games. Lots of announcements as well. That's where we got the Akuma, uh, Akuma announcement. Oh, that's uh, right. That's right. I forgot Slayer about for that. Strive. Yup. I don't know anything focused, about that dude, whoa. but he looks pretty cool. Was uh, having me debating on whether or not I want to get back into Strive, but... I don't know. Akuma, Akuma's looking pretty nice as well. Yeah, I love his new design. That's the same one that we saw like a couple months ago, though, right? Or I guess at that point, it'd be like a year ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. But we got to see him in action and the, the whole moveset and stuff. He looks very good. Right on. He, I think he's coming out this month. Like, they said yeah. spring. I don't know if they actually hard. No, I think announced. they said it was May 22nd for Akuma. Did it? Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, there you go. Sure. Okay, great. So there we go. Yeah, Slayer, I think, comes out on the 30th of May. Um, what else did they announce? I think they announced stuff for Tekken as well. Lydia's coming back from Tekken 7. No Tifa yet? We're still not getting guest characters yet? 
Yeah. He thought Wada did say yeah. it was going to be a while. Yeah. Yeah. Be, yeah, second season. All right. I like the Street Fighter or Street Fighter. I love the uh, the Tekken like character design so much. I just can't bring myself to play that game. It's it's a it demanding game. Really good. Yeah, it's it is demanding. But I think for like, and I don't I think I would say this for like an approachable game. I mean, it's probably harder now because newer players aren't playing anymore. But I felt like Tekken Eight at launch was a very a game like you can go in and kind of learn slowly mm. and you can pick up stuff. There's just a lot to pick up. Have you seen the the bot, the three 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 bot? Oh, yeah. the Eddie Gordo one. That's so, that yeah, it's so funny. so funny. Roger, have you seen that? I have not. I don't know what that is. So there's a. I don't know if they're still on, but there was like a stream for a while where it was getting thousands and thousands of views. Where it some guy programmed their fight pad to mash one button uh, with the new character Eddie Gordo. Who's able to basically just do a combo, oh. and so it was just them mashing. It was like a, just a bot mashing one button, and they got pretty high up in ranks. They like, it was funny. They just had they had just had ranked on, and they just kept going through the ranks, and people get kept getting hit by that combo. Yeah, Eddie's like knowledge check of the character. This is also very random. I, we're talking about Tekken and we're talking about all the Bandai Namco games. This, again, just popped up on my feed. Brand new. Uh, breaking news regarding an upcoming video game adaptation film. Apparently, there's going to be a live-action Pac-Man movie that will be what? released in 2025. And that the voice of Pac-Man is Paul Rudd. Oh, man. No, okay. well, Paul didn't Rudd do Chris Pratt this Pac time. W. Not Chris Pratt this time, no. But Paul Rudd Pac-Man will debut next year. You know what? I can I can okay. hear it. I can hear it. He has a Pac-Man voice. I can hear it. He's a Pac-Man voice. Yeah, like 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 I can hear it already. Like it's it yeah. Walk away. I don't know. And I'll I'll have to see the trailer. I mean, for it, I, kinda, talked, I do like, like multiple the, uh, times. Not like to like the Who Framed Roger Rabbit style where you take animated characters and put them in like a real situation. I feel like that style isn't I mean, it's done, but not always done well. And actually, I feel like, no, it's kind of rare. It's just like Sonic Norser now. Actually, did anyone watch the, uh, probably not. There was the Chip and Dale's movie. Not Chip oh, and I love that Chip and Dale's movie. No, movie. I did. That movie was yeah, yeah, Space Jam. I, and Space I, I, Jam, of course. You, I forgot go. about the new Space Jam. I this is literally movie. Lola I Bunny. I mean, this is, oh, the new one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I forgot. About. Yeah, I forgot about the new one, though, because I was talking about the new stuff. I forgot. You're right. Not good. Yeah. yeah, the uh, the Alvin and the Alvin and Chip, Jesus, the, the Chip and Dale movie I thought was really good. Oh, I always fun, as... as... wait. What are you talking about? The Chip and Dale movie was great. Oh, I hate that movie with like with he... the evil Peter Pan and everything. I thought it was really yeah, good. Ugly Sonic. He hates it. He hates it because of Ugly Sonic a bit. But that was it's funny. Weird. They made Ugly yeah, Sonic. It was, was not. It was not. It was not funny. It's not funny. It was very funny. You just don't want to be need... reminded of what Sonic. Yeah, was I don't need like. that. Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Also, Fidel, uh, why'd you call me a psychopath? Oh, because you said Sunshine is better than Odyssey. Bro, I just watched you try to pass meat mouth to mouth, oh, bro. Brother. I saw you try to pass meat mouth to mouth. It's not the point. It's nah, not the point. No, nah, he thinks Sunshine is better <laughs> than Odyssey. To meet, he tried to it is. Pass oh, meat it's mouth it's to not. Mouth, it's bro. not. It's not, Roger. It's not. Wait, you think Sunshine is better than Odyssey? Yeah, he I thinks Sunshine good. is better than Odyssey. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know about that. That's what I'm saying. He's a freak. Wow, I think like, Odyssey. Like I think Odyssey is a better game. Yeah, I think Odyssey, to be -uh. fair, is a better game. But I think okay. gameplay wise, like, what would I rather play? I'd rather play Sunshine. Because I and uh, let me explain. Because like, I think oh. this all sprouted from the campaign where people were like conversations people aren't ready for or whatever, and you do the quote right. tweet thing. And yeah, I and tweeted out. I said right, and I said that I think Sunshine is better than Odyssey. And the reason why is because I think, like, Odyssey is a very well-made game, right? It's a very good game. I like Odyssey. I'm not saying, like, I hate Odyssey because I think Sunshine's better. But I think, like, Odyssey, the moons, first off, the majority of the moons in that game are, like, not memorable at all. They're, like, there are, like, a couple, there are a few that, like, carry the game, right? The T-Rex one, well, you're on the back of the scooter, the Jump Up Superstar one, some of the I ones, the like, dragon. the Dragon one is another one, like, for sure. But I think like 900 of the 999 moons and that's still probably less than the ones i'm thinking of aren't super memorable and and the game kind he, of 
throws yeah. them at you when you're discovering them, which is fine. You know, it's it's like cool that that's the way that you're going through it, but like the replay value, I think, is not there for Odyssey. And I also feel like the first ten know. hours of the game in Odyssey are really good, and like speed runs are great, and the the controls are perfect, and everything about that is great. But like once you get to the actual second half of the game, like once you roll their credits and you get to the Mushroom Kingdom and all that stuff is great. Really, like you have the dark side and the darker side, and there's nothing else, and it just feels like wow. Why did you do this? Like you could have done the so much more. Dark side, yeah. It's but just yeah, like the imagination the of the first thing. ten hours just got sucked out of it. I felt like I feel the same way about Sunshine though, because like I feel like Noki Bay ends up being just a awful level. Noki Bay is actually a great level though, because I the hate level design, that. the fact that that is one like I don't know if anybody's noticed this when you you play Noki Bay or whatever, but uh -huh. like the little the turrets that stick out of the ground are actually like the columns in the underwater um, area that you dive into, like when you're collecting the red coins and doing the thing with the yeah, yeah I know you're all about. that right, right. It's all one giant level. And, like, that aspect of it I actually think is cool. Like, I think one thing that, that Odyssey suffers from is the cohesive uh. theming. I feel like – and I think this is this has even been proven, right? Where you see, like, uh -huh. all the spinoff games that came after Sunshine. Piantas were in there. Nokis were in there. Bowser right, Jr. Right. to this day still has his little collar with the, the Shadow Mario thing on it. Right. Odyssey, literally nothing, nothing – other than the song that's, itself, that's Pauline, fault. New Donks. I know, but I, I think that's odd, though. Don't you think that's weird that, like, none I of the other new weird. stuff and cool stuff stuck with anybody beyond Pauline, New Donks, See, but yeah, then, but, okay, an but argument, but I think, wait, 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 but I think that's we Nintendo's... New, we need a new Mario game. We need a brand new Mario game yeah. first for that. No, 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 had, no, 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 no. My art, no. What I'm saying is, like, if you in look the spin at spinoffs, right, in the spinoffs after Sunshine everything had tons of sunshine stuff in it and like to this day there's still stuff from sunshine that gets referenced in other spinoffs and other games like literally the only thing from odyssey is pauline in new donk city you can yeah, kind of make all right but is it no 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 to me, no. To me though, though that's nintendo's fault because they made cool character oh, designs in I'll each of those thing, areas right? the, uh, yeah. the wedding outfits in smash yeah, but the the wedding outfit, I guess, okay, that's actually, that's a solid argument. You could say the wedding outfits, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you the wedding outfits. But I feel like, I, I specifically am thinking of in terms of, like, the other little characters that are in it, right? Like, all the, no, the I, little the skull guys in Toasterina or, like, yeah, uh, there's four guys. Bubbling octopuses. Yeah, you really yeah. care about these characters Cappy. like that? Like, no, but I think, no, like, no, it, I, think, I think it's weird. I'm not saying it's... Sunshine's characters were represented through the spinoff right. games. Right. Which, whereas Odysseys have not, which is, but, but I, I agree with who that. are the characters? Like, there, there are barely any in there. So, it's like, what are you even doing? No, but there's, there's, there's a lot of different characters. All. And Odyssey, no, they no, have we're like talk, different we're talking, we're not, not, we're not, we're talking about specific, like, it's not like, it's not like, for example, in a spinoff game, like, like the Rabbit games, where these characters are flushed out, they get a lot of screen time, you see them for a long time, you hang out for a long time, like, you're with them and they build that, like, Odyssey, you're very well, much world hopping. But I, I think what me and Roger are trying to say is like whenever a mainline Mario game comes out, typically the enemies and the creatures and the right. things from the like that mainline Mario game bleeds into like the spin-offs and, and everything. Like they feel like they're part of the Mario universe. Yes. Whereas with Odyssey, they've they refuse to like put Odyssey characters and locations in any of the side stuff, which makes them feel less memorable to people right like i feel right. yeah the, game, the actual I, I game itself it. doesn't yeah that's what i mean because well, like okay, again, so, never, so since odyssey what that's but the thing is like what literally every game more, right every every, every, every single yeah, spin-off came out in 2017 odyssey. literally so they've nothing had a million that's Mars come out in five years has had anything other than pauline nothing there's like no references to the other characters there's no little costume they don't make Pauline even play and then no they don't even have cap which i think is super bizarre maybe it's because yeah, it she killed him and and killed all the other captain characters but <laughs> literally there's no they're like I do, I do think I it's weird that. that none of that stuff gets referenced at all, no, especially because there's been ample opportunity. <laughs> the bunnies. Right. Even even the like mortals. Pauline. Like, look at Pauline. Like, Pauline got added to stuff, but even then, like, wasn't in the base roster for a lot of these games. Got added yeah, as, like, three DLC way right. later on. Right. I just think it's weird. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I will give, I mean, Pauline and New Donk City, that like that is the face of Odyssey for all the spinoffs. But there's a lot of those... good stuff in Odyssey. Yeah, like, 100%. I'm with, with you. Stuff um, the T-Rex, the, the yeah, four 100%. guys. Like, yeah, exactly. I, 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 that yeah. upsets me because I love how those characters look. So it yeah. sucks that like you don't see the skeletons or even like a New Donker walking around the level yeah, with dudes. the snail yeah, right. people. Right, even like right. the Cappy gang. So right. I, I right. get that. I, I think just for me, Odyssey, the reason why it's just better is one – it controls better. I oh feel yeah, like- of course it does. And I wouldn't make that argument. I think like the yeah. game control, I think it's a better made game in general than, than sunshine. Was. So are like, you talking objectively. about like the spinoffs as like the sports games? Like what do you, yeah, because, I'm, yeah, exactly. no, because I'm looking at a list of all the Mario games and a lot of these are remake. So no, I mean, all the sports games. games, all the sports games, which have there have been Mario a lot? Kart DLC Literally is, all of them. The Mario yeah, Kart like, DLC. Three. No, I mean, I'm looking, I'm, I'm on the wiki right now. I'm seeing, yeah, a bunch of remake, like half of these are remakes, and then you there have... was a new Mario Golf that came out after Odyssey. I, hold on, I said there was a half new of Mario these are remakes, and the other no, I know, half. I know. Is, I'm, I'm just explaining the ones. Games right, and... that's what I mean. Yeah, but Pauline, like, if you all look at literally, yeah, his, his my point, point is, it's is only just Pauline. Pauline. It's like yeah. when you look at if you look at some of the the baseball games or whatever that came out after Sunsh- uh, after Sunshine, right? There were like tons of things that were rep- like you could play as a Noki. Like yeah, I, yeah, that is crazy to me. Whereas, like, none of the other little guys who I actually think are better designed than the characters from Sunshine are in anything. It's just weird. Even the, yeah, the, the no, Piazzas are... I, I see the Caddy bringing it up. I don't, I don't think... Piazzas Pauline even. Is like, just Piazzas so, from Mario so Sunshine. No, but, but, but my point... No, you're no, no, I see what, no, I see what you're saying, but I'm saying, right. like, if they're going to put a thing in course, from Odyssey in anything, course. it's going to be Pauline. Of they're going to put a fucking... But they're going to put these rabbits that nobody knows the name of. Of course, of course. But don't you think it's also weird that, like, Odyssey, selling as much as it did, being as big of a deal as it was... Mm-hmm does not have the same impact that like a lot of these other games still have today. Again, yeah, like the Piantas, great point that the chat brought up. The Piantas are literally in Thousand Year Door. Like that's not even, there's been Paper Mario games since there've been lots of these. And there's always the argument of like, mm-hmm. well, they always just default to the Toads. It's like, you didn't have to for Origami King. You could have thrown in any of the things from Mario Odyssey. They didn't do that. Yeah, you, no, put, you know what I mean? Like, it's just weird. It's weird. Yeah, even like Mario Party games, they're like, Bring, they won't yeah, all the Mario Party games. I get exactly. it, yeah. Exactly. But I guess for me, I would equate all the extra moons in Odyssey to almost like the blue coins. Like I feel like you get them in the exact same way. Like stomp a ground, like stomp the floor right, would be right. like a moon equivalent yeah, I, to getting. I get the point that like a star or a moon or a shine should be something special and memorable. When you right. do 199 100%. of them, you very quickly make and them not memorable. I half of them and you could just, yeah. I, I, mean, know, I, like, I, like, yeah. I, like, I like the collective. I like it. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I did it. I liked it, but I get Roger's well, point. Of, like, if you're trying to be, of that game, yeah. Of like, so, yeah. are, are you saying? Know, so, are you saying that you just you would? Are you? you would you rather have like a hundred moons and they all be all be good? Or, yeah, I I would rather like a Mario sixty four tech because even even the hundred and twenty shines or whatever aren't good in Sunshine because there's like thirty of them that Absolutely are blue not. ones. Well, not all the not not all the not all of the moons or not all the stars in 64 are like no but i would argue that uh, that more of the stars in 64 are like memorable experiences than shines or moons in sunshine or in odyssey even in galaxy i would make that argument where like you're going to the different planets and stuff i don't know i remember i remember a lot of the moons like a lot of them i mean i could think of some like i like i I remember i I like especially i remember a lot of them like a lot of them you do like 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 because because uh, in my brain i tie a lot of them to captures so i'm um, so when i think of which captures i think about all the things i've had to do with that capture like whether it's the cheap or the meat meat bird or 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 whether it's the shit or the the wiggler or like whatever or the fireball guy like i'm in my brain i go oh okay like honestly i remember a lot of these moons because i'm tying them to the mechanic of the game sure. whereas yeah. in 64 as an example, the ones I remember are because I made a really, I had to make a really long jump or whatever. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just a preference thing. I just like sunshine more. I don't know. Um, I, again, I do think Odyssey is the better made game. I just, Oh yeah. That's, that's objective. Yeah. That's yeah, for sure. Um, one other quick thing I want to talk about in terms of games before we start moving on to maybe some last minute, what you've been playing. I've been playing another crabs treasure which is the little, the Souls-like uh, crab game 
It's like on Switch. It's on PlayStation. It's on everything. It's on Game Pass. It's on PC. Uh, that game rules. That game is so much fun. I would not recommend playing the Switch version because it chugs. Um, but the game itself is just fantastic. Like, it's super duper funny. There, It's got a pretty great soundtrack. Uh, the actual boss design, I think, is, like, incredible. And it's just an overall good time. So if you are looking for something to play that's, like, a Souls-like game in the lead-up to the Elden Ring DLC next month... Give another Crab Treasure a try. Again, it's on Game Pass. You can play it for free if you have Game Pass. It's on PC. It's on Switch. Uh, but again, if you get the Switch version, play the docked version because if, if you play it in handheld mode, that thing chugs. It was like nearly unplayable when it first dropped, and they added a patch that then fixed it. But um, still, in all, I would I would suggest getting like the PC or the the other versions. Yeah. Anybody else play anything? Uh, besides. Uh, like all the alphas and stuff. I've been started playing uh, Pokey Rogue, and that's actually I'm having enjoying that what a is, lot. What is Pokey Rogue? So it is a fan made Pokemon Rogue like game where it's like it is pure battle. So you start like at the start of the game, you basically have starters from every single gen, and then you can like make a team. You have a certain amount of points you can pick. You can make a team, and then you just go in, and then you get random Pokemon that you come up against. At the end of battles, you get items you can take. You can capture the Pokemon you're fighting. Uh, the roguelike side of it is as you capture Pokemon, their IVs become permanent. So, like, if you see a Pokemon you like and you capture it, the, the IVs it has, the highest of those gets added to that Pokemon for future runs. So, like, you're building oh, power that way. You can get random, like, random encounters with, like, very strong Pokemon. Like if you go to the beach, you can randomly just fight the Ultra Beast. I, I, in my first run, I fought Stack Attack as a boss. I caught him, and then he like carried all the way. So like my first run, I made it to floor two hundred, but lost there. And then like you, as you beat uh like certain rounds, you'll have your rival will pop up in like the five. So like the mid, each floor is ten. So the five and certain floor, the rival will pop up. And she gets pretty ridiculous. I won't say more than that. <laughs> but she gets pretty ridiculous as it keeps going. Uh, then you'll get, like, gym leaders. And when you beat a gym leader for the first time, it gives you an egg voucher. So it's like a gotcha system in the game. You don't, there's no money, obviously. But you get these vouchers, and you get Pokemon eggs. And as you keep playing, they hatch. But the eggs can give you exclusive Pokemon, like the Paradox Mon. Like, I got Iron Hands, and I'm using him, and he's just a string thing. So, like, you can get stuff like that. You can get Legendaries. You get Mythics. And in future runs, you can take that Pokemon as and the start of the game and just go run with them. So it's it's actually yeah, it's I really fun. Zeph's been mentioning it to us a lot. If I started, playing it's it, browser based too, it. so you can play it on your phone. Cool. Yep. And you you make an account, so like you actually sign into the same account. So you can like I think it saves after every battle. So yes. you can just like do a battle, stop, come back, start playing again. Shit is That's indeed cool. crack. Cool. Anybody else playing anything? Coast, what are you playing right now? Uh, because of the Fallout show and how hyped I was over it, I have started playing this mod called Tale of Two Wastelands. Okay. Which basically combines Fallout 3 and New Vegas into, like, one experience and, like, overhauls a bunch of stuff with mods. And it just, like, it makes it, like, a, a 1.5 remake of the game, essentially. Um, and it's been really fun. It uses the New Vegas engine, and you play throughout the uh, the entire story and all the DLCs and all of that. Um, I'm like, I think 25 ish hours in already, and uh, yeah, it's been really fun exploring like the entire Fallout universe again after not playing it for when did this when did it come out again? 2009 Fallout 3 came out, I think, something yeah. like that. But yeah, really fun. I've been playing a bunch of like random stuff on the side too. Like I got back into Vampire Survivors. Uh, what else have I been playing? I've been playing a lot of, uh, Pokemon hacks on my phone. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Right on. Anybody else got anything oh. they've been playing? Oh, Hawkeye. go ahead. Oh, oh, are we doing this? Yeah. I, uh, got into the Star Rail rabbit hole. Nice. Where are you I... right now? I have completed uh, the second planet. What is it called? She, she, oh, Lao Fu. That's the suck. That 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 yeah. one sucks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one, man. That was awful. Yeah. That I mean, it, the end of it is fire. The boss like, is great. End, I agreed. Yeah. Agreed. The you're end now. Game is, you're about to enter sick. peak. 
You're about to enter yeah, people. And Coney is so good. And and you're also doing it at the right time because they're doing the 2.2 update next week. Oh, yeah, Actually, yeah, yeah. No, um, this week. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Robin's so, up tomorrow. Yeah, you're getting in at a good time. Um, they're going to be absolutely. adding the new story details. I'm excited the for game, you. I, I love it. I mean, I genuinely – I'm shocked for like a free-to-play gotcha how engaging it is, like how much content there is to do. Yeah. Just in who's terms your, of missions who's your and everything. Main team currently, like, did you pull any characters so far? Or like, yes, I, I have who, two who teams. Like? That All right, I feel like that I've looked up and my friends have helped me with. It's like team one. I have uh, Akron. Okay, yeah, she's peak with Sparkle. Okay, you got Sparkle so already. Yeah, yeah. So it's I, I think like I had just started when Sparkle was about to go. So I one team is Akron, Sparkle, uh, Aventuri, and the new guy. Yep. And uh, who is the other one I have on the team? It's uh, – is it Bailu? It might be Bailu. Okay. Or someone. There's there's another one. Then team two, I have uh, Jing Liu, Branya, Sparkle, and Bailu. Wow, I think you have both. a lot of you – you must have done a lot of pulls. So yeah, you have all those was, Oh, my God. How much money you probably spent, spent a lot of money I then. Spent, wow. I spent too much, man. I spent too okay, much. Oh, I, no. I, like, I don't think me. what I saw you talk about is like you don't strike me as a gotcha game player. So like, I no, wonder how I, much they uh, – Yeah, I'm also curious because like I've not done – very many paid polls in Star Rails. Really? Since I started. No. Uh. Uh. Because oh, well, damn. The, oh, the times shit. I have, people have donated. Right? People have been like, "Oh, we oh, want you to okay. pull," and I've gotten like okay. a donation. But it, I haven't like I literally myself have not done any. I have not paid really? personally for myself at all. That's and the I have a You, you make there. polls on other people's wallets. That's what yeah. you do. I do that. Yeah. 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 I mean, but I That's I don't. Do. Yeah. Well, otherwise, and I feel like I still have. A lot of good characters, like I have Black Swan, I have Acheron, but I think one thing about Star Rail that I like more than Genshin that I found like mm -hmm. pretty early on is that they give you a lot of pulls free. Like just by playing right. the game, you can get like 30, 40 pulls after like yeah. one area, which oh, pretty much true. guarantees you a character. Is yeah, so my like, first team is Akron, Pella, Sparkle, Aventuri. That's my team. There one. you go. Oh, yeah, you're a Pella. Okay, yeah, everyone uses Pella. She sucks. Yeah, but. and then team two is Jing Liu, I mean, she's good. Sparkle, Bailu. She's good, but I just don't like her. Yeah. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. But, you yeah, know, the game has – I mean, obviously, I'm joining in, like, on the year mark. There yeah. is so much to do. Like, genuinely, there's a billion things I feel like you can do. And I guess sometimes I feel like I got to do a lot of it, but I also have to realize sometimes it's, like, it's a gotcha, and I don't have to do every no. thing in there. I Well, it, it depends what the companion quests, yeah. I think, are actually the good, companion though. quests, yes. They're I good. did a crazy one. It was the – it was the Jing Liu and Don Hung one. That one yes, was crazy. Yes, yes. That one's that good. That was fantastic. Um, and I've just I've done like the Trailblaze missions where you end up in different areas. Like just overall, just a lot of content. Really good. My biggest fault with the game is they just never shut up. Like, and there's no skip button. Yeah, I mean that's like, how just do the same thing. Yeah, Man, it, the, the, the no skip button is like criminal because you will just be doing like the blue quests, like the the fodder ones. And you just cannot skip, and they're just talking and talking. I'm like, stop, please, yeah, please. Just, that's, yeah, that's literally it, why I do yeah. not stream. I don't stream the companion quests. I did like two of them, and people keep requesting them, and I'm like, yeah, no, no, I'm a lot of cutscenes. Yeah, not so true. You already know. You know, I love skipping cutscenes. Yeah. Speaking of Coast, where are you in Endwalker right now? Now that you're in post, uh, my sub ran out, and I'm because I'm in the middle of a move. I haven't bothered resubbing. So. No, too bad because yeah. I wanted to talk Soon. about uh, where I am right New now. Month. Very good, very good. I re-upped re to do the uh, FF sixteen call after away. That was All much shorter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. pretty quick. You could do that in like twenty minutes. So, yeah, I got that done. I got to repractice. I had to set up my new mouse on it. Repractice monk shit. For now, I'm definitely playing Viper. Right on. Anybody else? Uh, speak now, forever hold your peace. If you got a game you want to talk about before we wrap this up. Oh, let's see, let's see if Whoa. these. See if these nuts feed your mouth. Gotta let them know. <laughs> Goofy. That shit makes no sense, but it's so funny. <laughs> this shit doesn't make any sense. Wait, have it's you so actually so been playing Sea of Thieves though? Fuck really? No. Oh, no, Roger, I've been playing no. FL Studio, bro. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> When's the cipher coming out? When's your dad coming back? Damn! He's fine. I just, I literally just saw him. He was here in LA in February. That was cool. He's and lying. then I just came back from Chicago. He's definitely lying. I was at C2E2. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. I'm, I'm not. I'm not here. here. He's coping, bro. I sent that guy to you. That's not your dad. He's lying. He's lying. That is my, I mean, he literally is my father. You can see him. He's, He's my father. 
No, well, never mind. I'm not going there. Never mind. Incorrect. <laughs> Whatever image that was, never mind, never image mind, that was it was I, neither I was of their fathers. About to get racist. It was, but no, it was not. It was not. It was, my, it was, my, it was neither of their fathers. I was about to get into I some believe Nepo either of them. I'm not, <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing Nepo baby talk for Fidel right now. Jesus. That's for a different stream. I mean, we can, we can talk about it when Aro's here. She'll she'll rat you out. Oh, my Nepo God. Until then. This is crazy. I can't, this is crazy. Yeah, I can't Where's Aro? I need to talk there about you passing meat mouth to mouth. Uh, <laughs> she probably encouraged it to be honest. I don't. Listen, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Oh man. Well, I think that's gonna wrap things up. Hey, for real tonight, fast, then. real yes. fast. You know. Okay. We got. Uh, I got some stuff we can do at the end, real quick. You know. Oh, the merch. Yeah. Definitely, you can hit up spitspace dot com slash Japan time. Add Japan time merch. I put a picture once it loads. Uh, if you want to put that on the screen, Shofu. Huh? But, uh... What the fuck is yeah, this? the merch has been... Has already been ordered. Started to ship. So, Woo. what the picture it is, whenever it goes up, is the bags have been delivered. So, a lot of that's moving along. Uh, Great. Hopefully, end of this month, early next month, they should all... It's like, stuff to start being fulfilled. So, be on the lookout. Of course, we'll tweet out and stuff when that's going on. Thank you, everyone who's been supporting this because Thank it's you. been it's been doing well. I'm very happy that uh, it's been received well. I think like the Spiff guys are a really cool group, and I think we got some really cool stuff. So I'm glad this is going. Said, well. Thanks for giving them the bag. Woo! Literally, thanks for giving us the bag and them the bag. We appreciate it. Uh, well besides that, for the YouTube, we just which also is from this trip. Uh, the vlog went up from the LA trip, so that's live now on YouTube. For those of you listening to this on Spotify. Bro, that was 10 or... years ago, what the fuck? What? No, the one you guys just did. That just from 10, a couple months that ago. That was 10 years ago, what the fuck? That was literally three months ago. It wasn't okay, even that long. So you're telling me three months ago for a vlog is not 10 years. Is what you're telling me? Yeah, no, no, I agree, but I also... This. What's the problem? We, uh, we don't got money like that to put money. stuff out. Oh, you know, up. you got money like that, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you got money like that. Tino, I don't. Tino, got me up, bro. Ah. Uh, hey, so apparently, hey, hey, I don't. Hey, hey, ready, ready, ready? Uh, nah, nah, ah. apparently, I don't. Because <laughs> I got yelled at for that. So apparently, I don't. So, <laughs> the vlog is up. Uh, go check that out. Okay, now uh, that, that that was not a bathroom thing. I just reported what I saw. That's you had to you reported. Guy. You reported what you saw into the most immaculate segue of all time. It was. It was. I was. I was actually. Going, I played really, really very good. Nice very good. nice segue. I like it. Very nice. Very very also, nice. Also, speaking of videos, uh, Roger and myself did a video. It's gonna be. It's already up on my channel where we yep. uh, ranked, or rather, we created a tier list of. Uh, all of the gym leaders and elite four and champions in Pokemon, and whether or not we can beat them in a fist fight. Oh, they so... uh oh. Yeah. My computer blew up. So the stream is dead. Basically. Well, that's the that's the show then, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, wait, 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 but for the for the sake of it, we still have toast and we'll do some stuff. So we can grab it. Oh, well, that's true. Uh, yeah. You're gonna man, grab the anyway. audio with the fucking nukes and everything going off on my stream. Hey, hold on. I'll I'll open OBS and press record. No, it's too late now. Fuck That's this. Too this late. Sucks anyway. anyway, this was a lovely episode. Thank you all if you're watching on Coast Stream. We'll be hey, back in we two weeks. The, um, or we, we might the, be back uh, next FF14 week if Switch 2 gets announced. Uh, thank you and good night, everybody.